What's up guys, it's Dan here at LifeGins at 30 and welcome to this week's video. I do apologise over the past couple of weeks, I've been very busy doing all the sort of adventures and doing a lot of kite surfing because there's been great winds, so I haven't really been posting that much. But I'm going to start trying to get back into it now that it's a bit calmed down and everyone's left me so I'm on my own now. I mean this week's video I'm sitting here in my boxer shorts, you don't know that because you can only see the top of my head. But I'm sitting in my boxer shorts and I'm going to tell you why I'm not going to be travelling around Europe this summer even though I'd planned to um, over the past year, I've been I've been raring to go to Eastern Europe, but I'm going to tell you why I, I've decided not to travel this year. So if you haven't seen this channel before, please do subscribe, please like this video and share it around if you think it's relevant to other people who might want to watch it. Um, and yeah, let's get let's get straight into it. So I've left Tarifa for a few weeks. I've currently travelled all the way up to Marbella again. Um, that's because the British have finally left. Uh, the British group that we had, this big van life community that we had, they've all gone, and rightly so. Brexit's finally hit in. I don't think there's going to be many British in Western Europe anymore because the 90-day period has ended, and they, unless they've done, um, unless they've done residency in certain countries, then they have to go home. Uh, me, I hold an Irish passport, and that happened as soon as Brexit happened. I got in touch with the Irish government and was like, yeah, my mum was born in Ireland, can I have an Irish passport? Here you go, sir, thank you very much. You can travel around Europe as much as you want. However, I am driving a GB plated vehicle. And because of that, I believe that I'm gonna get stopped by police a lot more than I did, used to. So last summer I traveled through loads of different countries and um, and I wasn't touched by anybody. No one, no one cared, no coronavirus restrictions. No border controls, no border controls at Switzerland, no border controls at Schengen areas, nothing. Even coming to Spain, even going through France, just as the restrictions started happening, nothing. Since then, in Spain, I've been stopped on multiple occasions. Maybe it's not because I've got a GB plate, but maybe it's due to restrictions. However, when I travel around Europe now, I believe that I'm going to get stopped time and time again. And that's because of that, that plate, because... I'm supposed to be in Europe for, or if I, if I was a British citizen, I'm supposed to be in Europe for no, or the Schengen area for no longer than 90 days. And and if I'm traveling around Europe, they're going to be like, well, why are you still here? It hasn't happened yet since the 1st of April, so I'm, maybe they don't give a fuck. I don't know. But this is this is my thought process on this. So that's just one of the reasons why I don't think I'm, I'm going to travel around Europe this uh, this year because of coronavirus and because of being stopped and handing over documents and you just have to have one dickhead of a police officer who's like nah here's a fine blah 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 uh, the van's completely legal I'm completely legal here so I don't see there's any problem if you think there could be problems please do message below and let me know if you especially if you know this sort of stuff but I can't see there being any problems at the moment however not only that but at every single border crossing, you now need to pay for a PCR, a PC, PRC test. And they're costing between 120 and 150 euros. So if I want to go through 10, 10 different countries in during this summer, then I'm forking out 1,500 euros, up to 1,500 euros, just to travel into different countries. That doesn't include fuel, insurance, food, snacks, um, beer. I drink, I drink a lot of beer. <laughs> so... It's going to be a very costly, costly summer if I decide to travel. Again, if you've been following my journey through my Instagram stories or you've been watching these regularly, then you'll realise that I that I change my plans every every week, and that's due to uh, this coronavirus, this pandemic. You know, you can't plan longer than a month ahead because suddenly something else can change suddenly there's another outbreak suddenly there's a new variant suddenly there's a i don't know a roadblock and you have to change your route like i did in monaco so you can't really plan things but i think i'm going to avoid the travel for that simple reason of just the pcr tests and and maybe people should take that into consideration maybe th people should think about that if they're thinking about traveling this year i know everybody wants to travel and and I do too. Don't get me wrong. Like I don't like sitting in the same place for for this long. It it's really shit. You know, I I left the military because of I wanted a little bit more freedom and I wanted to be able to 
to venture out on different different places and different occasions. But you know, sometimes it's not possible. And I remember saying to my to my parents that I need to, you know, I need to get round Europe as fast as possible so I can go to Australia, so I can go to South America, so I can go to this, so I can go to that, so I can do this. Da 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 da. da. But am I rushing it? And why am I rushing it? That's that's what I started thinking. Like, why am I? I'm putting a, a limit. I'm putting a time limit on things when I shouldn't be. I know I've I've quit my job. I saved up for ten years to do this. I have enough money to do it. So why am I rushing myself? So I'm just going to relax for a little bit this summer. I'm going to enjoy Spain a little bit more. I'm going to going to maybe visit Portugal. Portugal as well is having really big dramas. The last people that I met coming from Portugal. One had had a brick gone through his window, and Kelly, who was in my video before, told me that the the locals were putting fires underneath vans with kids in it and stuff like that. And that's something I really want to avoid. I really like my van. I don't really want to be burnt alive in it, you know. So yes, I'll do Portugal, but I'll have to avoid areas where there could be problems, or stay in campsites, which again, more money. So yeah, there's a lot of things to take in consideration this year with coronavirus traveling in a van, but. I hope everyone's got the same thought process as me or if you're just going to fuck it and go for it then let me know in the comments below let me know where you're going to go and maybe maybe we can meet up you know who knows so yeah i'm going to slowly creep my way out of spain um, i'm going to head into france and then up into to the uk for maybe october i'm worried about going back to the uk and getting stuck in the uk that's my big thing i will go to go and visit my my family because i haven't seen them in over a year um, but I, I will go back to the UK and I'll either sell this van, which I'll do another video on about van prices at the moment because it's absolutely extortionate. I'll either sell this van and redo it another one or I will store this van and I'm planning to do a ski season. Again, the pandemic might change that idea and I'm, I'm planning way too ahead in the future for, for this sort of, for this pandemic travel. You know, you can't, you can't plan. But I would like to do a ski season. And I don't know if I'll, if that's possible, because um, this year I tried to get jobs, and I, every person I emailed was like, "Sorry, we can't we can't afford to hire anyone because we don't know how much tourism we're going to get." And it's the same for everywhere. It's hard to get a job anywhere now. So yeah, so I'm going to slowly creep my creep my way out of Spain. Um, but do consider the things that I've that I've spoke about in this video, okay? Um, and let me know if you're traveling this summer. Let me know where you're going and and how you're doing it and if you've already been vaccinated because I haven't I can't get vaccinated until I get back to England because I can't I definitely can't get one in Spain no one can get one in Spain at the moment not even people who are who are much older than me um, so when I get back to England do I take the vaccine to get a vaccine passport is that going to be a thing who knows who knows how it's going to go but yeah I hope you took a, a few things from this and now you know what I'm going to be looking at doing like who knows what I'm going to do but now I'm going to now you've got a sort of gist of where I might be heading. And yeah, I'd like to start traveling again, start making videos, but it all depends on this pandemic. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe, like the video, share it around if you think it's, it's relevant to, to friends or family. And enjoy.